All right, we're back for the final chapter. What are we doing? Five, but five of what? I look at the letter in front of me. Maybe he meant the fifth letter. There must be some hint there. That's right, he was talking about that weird hand gesture, wasn't he? I read the fifth letter that Shorty sent me. It's a letter talking about Bitch. Bitch could be in danger next. I send a text to Monkey. Bitch is in danger. I need her contact info. I get a text back right away. All right, Monkey sent me Bitch's address. Apparently she lives near Matsui Station. I should hurry over there. That's a nice place to live. All right, let's go. Matsue Station. It's raining as I record this. It feels very fitting. I head over to Matsue Station. I've head over to Matsue Station. Indeed, I've head over. Monkey, you're here too. Is bitch really in danger? I don't know for sure, but it's a very nice looking house. She's not home. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Something falls with a loud thud. Something. Yes, something. Nani? <laughs> Diko, dead body, falls to the ground. Her face frozen in fear. Diko, dead body. Yes. <laughs> His face looks like mildly amused. This is the curse. It's got to be the curse. The curse came back. Because of me. This is awful. I don't want to think about it. Okay, no thinking. Only talking. What should we do now? No idea. I'm not sure what we even can do. But for the time being, we should call an ambulance. Alright. He's really shaken. Who wouldn't be? Yes, a woman just died in front of us. Are the others alright? Last I heard from them, they were still safe. But then, so was Bitch. It might be dangerous to stay alone. Take this. How about we get together somewhere for now? Alright. Good idea. Let's contact them right away. Very good idea. We're missing one. Tanakada. He sent me a text. Monkey shows me. I do not have any connection to you people whatsoever. We are not friends. Well, that's rude. After all, we went through. What's that about? Aya's curse doesn't fall on everyone who was in the class. Dayone. Only to the friends of the one who played her part. <laughs> Yukari! Let's go out after this. If he's not one of our friends, he could escape the curse. Or at least that's probably what he's thinking. Misaki! Let's also go out after this. Will that really work? Probably not. But he must have thought it was better than doing nothing. Nozu! Let's also go out. We'll die unless we do something too. Yes. Who would know how to break the curse? Who would know? This is the this is the answer of the brightest kid in school, huh? He's just going to save himself. I don't blame him. For now, we need to think about what we can do about the curse. Yeah. So, bitch didn't make it after all. Oh. Oh. He still looks mildly amused. <laughs> I heard by the time the ambulance got there, she'd already drawn her last breath. Well, yeah, she splattered on the pavement. That was a bit rough. Uh, curse. Is there a way to save everyone who's left? I don't know. What about you? You've been investigating us. Do you have any ideas? Wish I did. Wouldn't Fumino know something? Fumino? We have no idea where he is, though. Four Eyes works at the city office. Couldn't he find where Fumino moved to? I'll give him a call. No. Let's go see him in person. We all head to the city office together. We go to the Civil Welfare Consulting Division. It's four eyes here. <laughs> Megane desu ka? <laughs> Megane desu ka? <laughs> Just walk into somebody's government office. Excuse me, I'm looking for four eyes. Megane desu ka? <laughs> he, he means Tanaka. Is Tanaka here? Ah, Tanaka wa yasunde imasu yo. Ah, Tanaka is off today. Did something happen to him? Taichou ga warui to. Well, he called in and he said he's not feeling well. I see, thanks. How convenient. Alright, we leave. Now what? I guess we should try his house. Farai's took a day off from work because he didn't want to see us. He won't be at home. <laughs> Yukari looks mildly uncomfortable. Then where? Where? Where would Farai's go? 
What's his stomping grounds? Are there any places he frequents? <laughs> no way, I'd know something like that. Like a bar or even the optometrist he goes to. Anything would do. Well, he likes cats. I don't know. He never came to my bar. Hmm. Can you think of anywhere he's longed to visit or anything like that? Like some place he wanted to make a trip to? He never talked about things like that. Alright. Hiya! <gasps> Misaki! Where would he go? I have no idea where Four Eyes would go. Has he ever asked you on a date? Would you like to be asked on a date? Ah, yeah, he once asked me to go with him to Hinomisaki Lighthouse. Yeah, let's go. I've been there before. It's very nice. He's got a thing for lighthouses. Alright, that's gotta be it. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, we've come to Matsue Shinjiko Onsen Station. Let's go. Our group makes the trip by train. <laughs> Still mildly uncomfortable. Wouldn't travelling by car have been faster than taking the train? Yes, it would have. Maybe, but the train is safer. How come? We're all under a curse. A curse shouldn't harm anyone else. But why would that be the reason to get on a train? With a car, all of us could die in an accident. But with a train, there'd be other passengers. So we're less likely to get into a mysterious accident. <laughs> I see. I don't want to believe we're actually cursed, but it's better to prepare for the worst case scenario. Yes, it is. <gasps> it's beautiful. Look at those pine trees. I arrive at the lighthouse with the classmates. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, calm down. Four eyes is here. Yes. You really want to involve me that much? Actually, we want to save you. Now that's just rude. I'm not friends with any of you. I'm outside the curse's scope. In her letter, she wrote about the classmates she was close with, and she wrote about you. Even if you want to pretend you're not, you are one of her friends. Professor Fumino is the only one who'd know how to fix this. Yeah. Ah, Max mode. It's gone for the top one. Eventually. Yeah. You're the only one who can find out where he went. How can you refuse that face? Please do it for me too. She's pulling out the crush card. Oh, it's super effective. Caw, caw, caw. The bird is back. That damn crow again. Well, I mean, if you're going to refer to it that way, of course it's going to be angry. Get away. The crow attacks four eyes. <laughs> get him. I mean, help me. <laughs> I'll chase it away. Yeah, you get him, Nozu. Shorty rushes at the crow. That's right, he was Shorty. I don't know why I never remember his name. I always just remember Nozu. Go away. The crow turns away from four eyes. Shoot, get away. Oh no, the crow turns to Shorty. Not Shorty. Go away, go away, go away. Shorty, what's wrong? Oh. Goodness. That's a beak to the head. Ah. <laughs> no, no, no way. <laughs> Yukari's face is just like, hmm, yes, this is only slightly disturbing. <laughs> a crow's beak has embedded itself in this man's head. Mildly disturbing. Uh oh, the crow's beak is buried in Shorty's forehead. He collapses to the ground. Fatty, bitch, and now Shorty are all dead. And they all died bizarrely too. We'll all die if we don't do something soon. Well, they're certainly dropping like flies. I, uh, I understand. I'll find out where Professor Humino is. You do that. Alright, we've come to a nursing home by the coast. Tokyo Adventist Hospital. Why is it called Tokyo? After digging around, Four Eyes found out that Mr. Fumino is in this nursing home. There's a young woman at the reception desk. We're here to visit Naoki Fumino. Could, could we see him, please? He's not here. Then where is he? He checked out. He said he wants to spend time in his own house. Okay. Could you tell us how to contact him? I only know the address, would that be alright? Hello, yes, this group of strangers has just shown up to a nursing home. We'd like to know where this person lives. Here, take his address. <laughs> What's privacy? I don't know it. Please tell us. 
これが住所です。いいか。Why would you just randomly give out a, an old person's, any person's address? Even if they are someone from a nursing home. Like, at least get some proof that they're family or something. Jeez. Alright, the receptionist hands me a slip of paper with the address written on it. Thank you. I know, I know, you gotta push the story along. The bus stops and we all get off. We are heading to the address we got from the nursing home. It's pretty deep in the mountains. Are you sure you didn't get the wrong address? I mean, she very freely gave it. It should be at the end of this mountain road. I really don't think we should do this. We're going. Together. Yeah. Together. The two of us. The rest of you can go home. I mean, what? The five of us walk up the animal trail. We're back at the same place. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I'm not getting a signal on my phone. It says out of range. That's not surprising. Hey, isn't that it? I spot a western style house at the end of the road. This is very Otogiri Sō. A great game, by the way. A wooden two story western style house with a triangular roof suddenly looms over us. I wonder if this is even vaguely inspired by the, the mansion from Otogiri Sō. Otogiri Sō. It's so creepy, it's weirdly quiet too, like there's no one inside. Nani? Doesn't this look like the Humino residence that burned down in the fire? Does it? I actually don't remember. Exactly the same. What's going on? The door makes a loud, protracted creak as it opens. <gasps> Professor Humino comes out of the house. Hello, sir. Oh, we haven't seen you in quite some time. Please come inside. Alright, he invites us in. Thank you. A lovely mansion you have. Uh, we walk into the living room. How did you build it all the way out in the mountains? This room is also the same as the previous house. Aya's portrait of Yoko is on display too. Why is Yoko's portrait here too? I asked a painter I know to make a copy. Professor Humino is looking at me intently. I don't believe we've met before. Who, may I ask, are you? I was Aya's pen pal 15 years ago. Maxuka. Ah, you're Max, I take it? How do you know about me? Yes! I've been waiting to meet you. I'm impressed you came this far. What brought you here? Was it a letter without a postmark? That's right! How did he know? That was actually something a friend of mine took to your house. Why would you do that? <gasps> so you would bring everyone here. He was behind it all along. What in the world is going on? Let me show you something. Um, That depends on what it is, sir. Fumino takes a pile of letters from a shelf. That's okay. What's that? Every year, a student from Matsue Oba High School plays the part of Aya and finds a pen pal. These are the letters. All of them. Then my letters are here too. I believe Shiori Yoshioka was the 10th Aya, yes? Then these are your letters. He speaks very slowly. Mr. Fumino shuffles through the pile and hands me the ones from 15 years ago. These are my letters. This ritual still continues to this day. What happened to the students who played the part of Aya? And their classmates? Shirimasen? I don't know, however. Nani? All of the pen pals are dead. <gasps> Professor Fumino picks up, picks up a scrapbook from the shelf. These are the newspaper articles about the pen pals. I read the articles. College student suffers heart attack. College student plunges to his death. 19 year old dies in mysterious circumstances. Dead after graduation, professional school student dies of heart attack. I heard about this one. A college student suddenly died inside a train station. Next to an article that says college student dies suddenly, there is a picture of Kazuki Suzumura, the young man who died. They were all Aya's pen pals. You're the only one left alive, Max. So they all died at 19. Max. I have been alive for another 15 years. All the others are dead? Shiori Yoshioka was brilliant, you see. 
She played the perfect ayah and protected you all. She even tried to put a stop to the curse. He talks way too long. You mean the incident after graduation? Before that too. Hmm. She conducted an experiment. After the Christmas party on December 25th, she asked a medium to perform an exorcism. And how did that work out? Mr. Fumino shakes his head. Oh, flashback. Alright, a medium is performing an exorcism ritual. Professor Fumino, Yoko, and Shiori look on. This is not good. We have to run. That's not what you want to hear from an exorcist. Oh, 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 that escalated very quickly. Sparks fly from the electrical sockets, igniting the curtains. The medium, Professor Fumino, and Shiori try to run. Aya's spirit appears in the flames. Yoko throws herself at her daughter into the fire. Oh, no. The moment Aya's spirit appears, there's a sudden blast of wind that knocks the medium down. Aya! 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 Professor Fumino tries to follow, but the fire blocks his way. The exorcism was a failure, and Aya's spirit took Yoko away. I don't believe it. I'm not long for this world myself. I wanted to tell someone the truth before I go. I have a question, sir. How did you build this grand mansion out in the mountains? Is that why you sent me that letter? You have done very well. You've succeed in bringing everyone to me. <laughs> You've succeed. Whatever happened to Shiori? Oh, her flesh has perished, <laughs> but her soul still wanders. Is there no way to break the curse? That's right. We came all this way to get some answers. Please, help us. The only way to save you... Yes... ...is to send away the person Shiori wants to meet. When you do that, she will be satisfied, and the curse will stop. Well, that's me, right? I mean, I'm her pen pal. Presumably, I'm the person she wants to meet. To send away the person she wants to meet. So, we'd be saved if that person dies. So this, that's right. Oh! Ishihara grabs the knife from a nearby shelf. Ma'am. Escalating a little quickly there. Okay. She's just gonna bring that? Alright. He's not gonna argue that she just took a knife from his kitchen. All right, uh, let's go, let's go. We're all walking through the thick forest together. Yukari has a knife for some reason. Each of us is on edge and jumps at the slightest shadow. If the person she already wants to meet dies, the others could be saved from the curse. I mean, it's clearly me. I know. Naniga? Know what? Yes. Who she already wanted to meet. She wanted to meet her pen pal. Dayone. That's what I said. But she disliked me. To be fair, Max, everyone dislikes you. You don't understand how a girl's heart works. She still wants to see you. She's waiting for you. Okay. No, the one she wants to meet must be Bestie. Why would you want to meet Bestie? <laughs> well, it's definitely not me she wants to see. <laughs> Tanaka in with the self burn. Alright, Four Eyes walks ahead on his own. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Four Eyes stops in his tracks. I, uh, well, just keep away. Please, leave me alone. Go away, please. I'm gonna say, well, where is his voice acting? Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh. Oh. That does not look pleasant. Gah! Four Eyes is suddenly taken by the forest. That's very evil dead. It's the curse. We're all going to die if we don't do something. Well, there's only three of them left now. Monkey, look out! Huh? Oh. Ishihara raises the knife she took from the house. Yamero! No! Oh! 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 She brings down the knife, piercing Monkey's chest. Ma'am. That is stone cold murder. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's... She didn't even give the forest a chance to take him. Jeez. Monkey falls to the ground dead. That was... Unexpected. No, no, I don't want to die in the place. Misaki, run. Run, girl, run. Snappy runs off on her. Good girl. Snappy, don't go off on your own. It's dangerous. <laughs> Take this. Snappy disappears into the darkness. Okay. Oh. Uh, that was less unexpected. I mean, we all seem to be dying one after the other right now. Snappy. Ishihara gets in my way as I try to go. <laughs> this heel turn. <laughs> if you die, the curse will end. Ma'am, you just murdered an old classmate. I think we need to have a chat about your feelings. They seem to be all over the place right now. Calm down. Calm down. Put the knife down. I'm not the one she already wants to meet. You know that. Well, why would you say that? Oh, oh. <laughs> she <laughs> Die. All right, ma'am. <laughs> calm down. She had brandishes the knife. She's not calming down. Oh, come on. I narrowly dodge her knife swing. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to run away. <laughs> yes, I've been doing it all game. <laughs> the charm from Genkichi falls out of my pocket. This is uh, a thing. I try to pick the charm up, but Ishihara comes at me. <laughs> Let's go. No good, gotta run. No, don't run. We can still talk about this. <laughs> Look, sorry about the time I called you ugly. I really honestly did not mean that. I flee into the forest. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> I think she's still upset. <laughs> about that time we called her face. Not very pretty. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ishihara chases after me. Ooh, I just fan myself. Uh, I don't want to die in a place like this. Ooh. Suddenly there's open air in front of me and I skid to a halt. <sighs> She's really upset about that. <laughs> Did I come to a road? So sorry, ma'am. There's no need to kill everybody about it. That's pretty. But it's a cliff. It's a cliff, watch out! I managed to stop right on the edge, but Ishihara is going too fast. <gasps> oh, no, don't let her go. She almost falls off the cliff, but I managed to grab her arm. Look. We can still talk about this, ma'am. You just let go of the knife. Don't shank me in the wrist. We'll all be good. Stop this. You won't survive that fall. Sine. She's not stopping this. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Ishihara raises her free hand. She's still clutching the knife. Stop it. Stop stabbing me. It hurts. With no other options, like, no! Don't let go. Why would you do that? <laughs> Yukari! No! This is not how I wanted this to end. Aww. We didn't even have our date yet. She disappears down the side of the cliff. <laughs> I am the only one that survived. <laughs> this is not the world I want to live in anymore. I dropped the charm, but it doesn't seem to have much effect anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. I head back down the road. <sighs> Alright. I walk alone through the thick forest. I think I'm lost. I've been walking for three hours and I haven't hit a road yet. Guess I'll keep walking. No matter how far I walk, the track keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Mm, suddenly. <laughs> mm, suddenly. Indeed. I hear something from behind. When I turn around, there's a young man I'd never seen before. Oh, thank God. Is there a road nearby? The young man's head hangs low. How low can you go? Excuse me, I'm kind of lost. The man says nothing. There's another young man behind him too. Um, oh. We're in the zombie forest. Now this is a game I want to play. When I see the man's face, I freeze. I remember him from somewhere. From the obituary that Professor Fumino showed me. It's Kazuki Suzumura. But he should be dead. He looks pretty dead. Which means this place is... <gasps> the row of pale-faced men continues after Suzumura too. I understand now. Naniga. These men are all Aya's pen pals. They wander even after death, unable to pass on. It seems I'm going to be wandering too. <gasps> How did it come to this? I just want to go back and start over. Da -dun -dun -dun. Oh, it's finished. Okay, well, that chapter was much shorter than the others. And everybody died. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of expecting it, but at the same time, seeing everybody actually die in front of me was still... That was something. That was... 
Yukari stabbed one of her classmates to death out of nowhere. I'm not even sure what happened to Misaki. She ran off into the trees and screamed. It's me, customer, in Soba Restaurant A. So, the curse got us all. That was the ending I was hoping for. I know there are several, but I wanted to get that one because that seems most fitting for this channel. So I'm glad with that. I'm very happy. That was a great game. I loved it. There was a lot of typos, but I can look past those. That doesn't bother me. That's just funny. But seeing Matsue again. Oh, it was so nice. I want to go back. I miss it. It's a great place. You should visit Matsue. And you should buy this game too. I've had some people tell me that they bought this game after I started playing it, and that makes me very happy. Support Matsue. Support Root Letter. We might get more games set in Matsue. And that would be very nice. Shimane Prefectural Government. I visited them a lot as a teacher. We had a lot of meetings. Meetings are a big thing. Thank you all the people that worked on this game. Much appreciated. Ah, the end. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. The lights of high-rise buildings outside the window illuminates the room. The image on the TV screen stirs and crackles. On top of the desk is a set of star patterned stationery. A high school boy is writing a letter. Nice to meet you. I live in Tokyo. I'm in my third year of high school. It continues. This is my first time writing a letter. Writing a letter by hand is a little different from writing an email. It's, I'm very excited to receive your reply. My friends call me Lettuce. I need new friends. Because I'm a herbivore type, I guess. But isn't lettuce a vegetable? If I were a herbivore, shouldn't I be called goat or sheep or rabbit instead? It's weird. What's weird is that you allow your friends to call you lettuce. Indeed. He puts the finished letter into an envelope. It's addressed to... <gasps> Ayahumi no! The curse continues. Dun dun dun! Oh yeah, the reign of terror continues. I love it. The lighthouse. I know, I know, I know. I, I intend to play the rest. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to 100% this game. Don't you worry about that. Oh, right. Oh, that's neat. It tells you how many left. All right, so we got the cursed letter root. Clear. Added. The bond of marriage root as new roots. Indeed. Four endings remain. Huh. Yeah, so I'm going to go and finish like all of these endings by myself. Off video. I'm not going to play through every single one again because that's a bit much. But this was the one I was hoping to show, so I'm very happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I know a couple of people have told me that they've bought this game since I started playing it, which makes me very, very happy. Please enjoy Matsue. Please enjoy this absolutely hilarious at times when it shouldn't be, but still great game. All right. Well, that was Root Letter. Last answer, the cursed letter ending. Root, whatever it's called. That was the one I wanted, so I'm happy. I really hope you guys enjoyed that, because I loved it. This was a great game. I know there is another one called Root Film, which is also set in Shimane. I am going to be playing that, but not immediately following this. I'm going to take a break and play something else. But that's something to look forward to. I'm excited for that one. I want to explore a little bit more of Shimane. Then go back to Matsui again. And I believe it also spends time in Izumo which I also spent a lot of time in. I worked in both cities. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Go buy Root Letter. Go buy Root Film. And I'll see you again next time. See ya.